We're going to create a new project in Microsoft Project, and we are given the requirement that we should use auto scheduling, which is a good idea to take advantage of Microsoft Project's ability to update the start and finish date. We're given four tasks in this project, and the project is to help us create a new course for a university. And so our four tasks are listed here, along with the duration for each task. And we have two requirements, or well, actually, three requirements. Task two and task three cannot be completed until task one is done. And also task four can't be completed until task two is done. So let's see how that looks when we plug it into Microsoft Project. So we have this very uh, simple task of creating a new course at a university. And we were given the four tasks and the durations. The first one was discuss course content and that was one day. But we were told that instead of having all these tasks manually scheduling where you have to put in the start date and the finish date, we wanted to make everything auto-scheduled. So we can make sure that is auto-scheduled here and make sure that um, you click on this uh, green bar at the bottom to switch from manually scheduling to auto-scheduling. And then our other tasks were write course description and we'll say that takes two days. And then we've got research available textbooks. And that took five days. And we've got create syllabus. And we were told, that takes one day, that there were some relationships here. We were told um, that you couldn't but you couldn't do task two and three until task one was completed. So we'll need to add some relationships in there, add some predecessors. So we'll say task one must be complete before you write the course description or before you research the available tasks, textbooks. We were also told that um, create syllabus, that uh, last task couldn't be completed until the second task was done, the course description was written. So we'll add in that predecessor. Now I've got a few more things I want to do with this project. I want to add some milestones. Now a milestone is, you can think of it as a task that has a zero length duration. So it's something that's important to the project, but it doesn't necessarily take a lot of time. So approved by department heads. That might just be someone saying yes or nodding their head yes. So it doesn't take a lot of time, like hours or days, but it's an important milestone, a step in the project and then also adding the course uh, to the catalog. And we're gonna say that um, these milestones have some dependencies that approved by department heads that can only be done after task two is complete. And adding this to the course catalog, that should be done after tasks three and four are complete. We also wanna add a reoccurring task, so a task that happens over and over again during the length of the project. And we're gonna add some status meetings, so like bi-weekly status meetings that are happening every two hours on Monday and Wednesday. And we wanna add that to Microsoft Project. And then we have the question, what is our project end date? So let's jump into Microsoft Project and take a look. So when I said our first milestone was approved by department heads, I said that had to have a zero duration or and it had the requirement that it was done after task two. Um, so when I say after task two, I mean there's a relationship, a predecessor and successor relationship. So the predecessor would be task two, write course description, and the successor would be approved by department heads. Um, the next milestone was course added to catalog. And that had two predecessors, both task three and four. And so we can just put a comma in between those predecessors. And we can see arrows coming from two different bars um, going down to that milestone added to course content. And then our question was, uh, oh, sorry, one more thing we wanted to add was the, the bi-weekly status meeting. Uh, we can do that from the task tab. There's a pull-down menu under tasks, and we're going to choose recurring task. And then we'll fill in this information status meetings, 
and it was going to be two hours every Monday and Wednesday for the whole length of our project. So from our project start date to our project end date. And then I can either collapse these into one line or let them take up a line for each of those status meetings. So the question was, when is our finish date for the project? And I can see that a few different places. I can see it over here in this timeline. I could see it um, at the finish column. I can see some finish dates here. I can go to project, project information, and I can see the finish date is Wednesday. Uh, March 30th, 2016. And if you were typing this in on your own and you have a different start date, you're going to also have a different finish date than me. But here are a couple different ways I can find my finish date for the project.